Hi everyone, it's Vicky here and today I'm back with a travel card. I am going to use this C6 tie that is called Open Road and it has this adorable little car. As you can see it comes with many ties that you need to cut out and assemble. Of course you can cut them out by using a, a little pieces of colored paper but instead I am going to just cut them out of white cardstock. I always find it quicker and easier for me to cut them out of white and then use my favorite coloring method to color all the little pieces. Now, in, uh, if you take a look at uh, the shapes, there is one that I want to be uh, silver and metallic. So I have this pad by Tim Holtz that has uh, gold and uh, silver papers and I'm going to use just a piece of uh, this silver one. Now I'm going to run them through my big shot. And you need to run uh, some of these dies twice through your big shot just because uh, you need two uh, same pieces for your car, such as the lights, for example. Now I have all the little parts ready to go and cut out. And it's always uh, very easy if you keep this image close by as a reference so you know where each part is going to go. Now I am going to color all the little parts by using distress inks and my finger dabber. Uh, you can see its color that I am using on your screen as I'm working with it, but you will find a list down below with all the products that I have used for this card as well as the colors that I used for coloring my little car. I am trying to design a card that can be given to a man as well and uh, I will go for a vintage uh, look here, so I will end up uh, inking up the edges with uh, brown of all those little parts. I am going to put on some music as you can see how I colored some of these parts and I will catch you back later on. Now for the lights I am using a dabber that has been dipped in a yellow color, I don't know which one, and I just used the ink that was in the dabber. And as you can see the lights are made out of uh, two parts, a big circle and a smaller one, so I decided to cut out the bigger one out of that foiled silver paper. And uh, I went ahead and uh, done that, so you see here that I have uh, colored pretty much everything and it's time to assemble my card. For that I'm going to use my glue pen as well as some tape adhesive for the bigger parts. And since I have so many little parts, I have to keep uh, the photo of the packaging close by as a reference. Now there are actually a few of the parts that I know where I should go, but I didn't bother uh, using them. And that's mainly because they were super tiny and they were parts that I should have uh, stick on top of my metal bar there that I didn't want to. <laughs> so anyway, I am going to continue assembling my car. And you can see here the big circles that I have cut out of that uh, silver foiled paper. And now on top I'm going to cut out the smaller dots that I have colored yellow. And this is a great uh, die to customize based on the color of the card that your recipient has. So I have my little embellishment ready to go as well as uh, the three suitcases. I have cut out three actually. And now I am going to pick up a patterned paper from this pad. This is by Tim Holtz again. And uh, I'm going to use this map. I'm going to cut out a piece of this uh, pattern paper that is slightly smaller than the standard card. Now my card, my card base is actually a top folding card in black cardstock and it's four and a quarter by five and a half. So I am uh, making sure that this uh, piece of map is cut out to three and three quarters by five. And this ensures that when I place this uh, paper on top of my card base, I do get that uh, black border all around. Now I am going to uh, use this uh, burlap. This uh, is one of the textured surfaces by Tim Holtz. I am going to cut it out with my scissors to be about the size of my panel. And um, then I am going to chop off the top part. I want it to look very random and organic, so I'm going to peel off the backing because this is um, self-adhesive, as you can see. Then I'm going to use a poke tool to help me fray the edges. Now this is not so easy as it would have been in any normal burlap, just because there is adhesive at the back. But I'm going to do my best here and you will see that it's going to look more distressed and frayed at the end. 
And once I'm happy with the look, I'm going to stick it on top of my panel, on top of my pattern paper, so you see a little bit of uh, that uh, map coming out from the top edge. And of course, to make the paper come together with the frayed edges of my burlac, I am using my tool there just to make sure that I distress the edges. And then I am going over with my blending tool and my distressing to uncap the edges with brown. So I think that uh, now everything uh, matches perfectly. I'm going to use some tape adhesive at the back of my panel and then stick it on top of my card base. I just love this design. I think that um, this is a great design to give to a guy or a girl and uh, it's a great card for those who live for traveling as well as for retirement. It really depends on the sentiment that you add on your card since it's quite a versatile design. For my sentiment I decided to go with this one that says enjoy the journey. This is a, one of the quote chips by Tim Holtz. It's from his new ideology collection. I'm using some white glue by Nuvo that uh, sticks nicely on top of a fabric. And this is going to ensure that everything is stuck down nicely. I'm going to use the same glue at the back of the rest of the pieces and assemble my card. Now the image in the packaging is uh, giving you two suitcases, one on top of the other, but uh, of course the sky is the limit here, you can cut out as many as you like. I did cut out three and I'm going to stack them one on top of the other, but I'm not going to stack them in a line. I'm going to give them some movement just to make it look more fun. As a finishing touch, I'm going to use my shimmer pen and I'm going to add some shine on the lights as well as on the little heart. And that was the card for today, I hope you had fun and got inspired, and if you did, don't forget to leave me a comment as well as give me thumbs up on my YouTube channel. Here are some close-up photos of the card that I made today. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and if you need more inspiration, you can click any of those two videos that I created a while back. Thank you all for watching!